What type of PayPal account do you need? Well, there are five PayPal account types. The three main types, the personal and the premier, are for individuals, and the business accounts are for, well, businesses. Then there are the student account type and the micropayment type used as a business account if the business takes a whole bunch of payments of, say, 10 bucks or less. This video will go through the three main account types to help you decide which one best fits your needs. Now, when you go to paypal.com, up in the top left corner here, you're going to see two links, one that says personal and one that says business. The personal has zero monthly fees, where a couple of the three business account types have monthly fees. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. And there's a bunch of tools here, as well as a toll-free number up here that can help answer any of your questions you might have towards the business account or anything else for that matter on PayPal. But if you come on down here and under the Get Started button, click on the link that says See All Plans. This will tell you a little bit more about the, the three different business plans that they have available for you. The most popular, as it says here, is the standard at $0 per monthly fee. Then you've got the advanced at 5 bucks a month. And then you've got the pro for 30 bucks a month. And at the bottom of each of these boxes, gives you a link that says see all the features of that particular option. So for more details on the differences between the 5 bucks, the 30 bucks, or the zero monthly fees, just go ahead and check that out as well. Now, if you're just starting out selling things online and you are just using your name, for example, Dolly Smith, and not Dolly's Dolls Incorporated, then you can use the personal premier account type and be just fine. And you can always change later if you decide later on to go to an LLC or incorporate and register a business name and use that business name on PayPal. Now, the personal account types allow you to shop online without having to pay any PayPal fees. Remember, the fees are paid by the sellers, not the buyers. And you can send and receive money using just an email address. Now, with a personal account only, there is a monthly limit of receiving $500, and that can only be from other PayPal users. So if you have potential customers that are not a PayPal user, but do have a credit card or debit card, they're not going to be a customer of yours. At least ways, not if you only have a personal account. Now, when you do receive money into your personal PayPal account, your fees are going to be higher than if you had a Premier personal account. Plus, with a Premier account, there's no limits on how much you can receive monthly and you can receive from PayPal users as well as credit and debit card users. So you can see there's a major benefit in upgrading from your personal account type to a premier account type because you can receive more money, you can receive those funds from additional customers, and you're paying less in transaction fees. And <laughs> upgrading from a personal to a premier account is as simple as clicking a link and filling in the information. No extra cost, no hassles. Now, if you are going to be doing business and using a business name like Dolly's Dolls Incorporated, then you will need the business account. And then depending upon your needs, you would choose between the three types of business accounts that we looked at earlier. Now, PayPal does offer a lot of merchant tools to help you succeed with your business. And there are loads of guides all over the PayPal site to help you along the way. So take some time and poke around to get familiar with the various tools and help that they offer. For example, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page here, you have the help section and the contact section, which actually are the same exact page. But if we take a look at one of these, you've got tons of additional information here. And over here, you can visit the community forum so you can speak with other members of PayPal. In addition to some of these other links that will take you to the staff of PayPal. So whatever question you might have, chances are pretty good the solution is somewhere on this page. Let's go on back here. And at the very bottom, if you go to the blog, they have regular postings here of additional information about PayPal and what they're doing currently and how some of this stuff might affect you and your business. Hopefully this video has helped you get a better understanding on getting the proper PayPal account and where else you can go for more help. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.